welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well. So in today's video, we're going to be doing a step-by-step -step eye makeup tutorial. Now, I am going to be doing a foundation review, which is why my foundation is already done. But a lot of you guys really liked the halo look that I did recently in some of my videos. Like, I wore that look, but I actually didn't film it. So today, I'm going to be showing you guys how I achieved that look. And I'm going to be giving you guys a step-by-step -step tutorial as well. So without any further ado, let's get into this. First things first, you always want to prime your eyes. Priming your eyes is what will basically make your eyeshadow look better at the end of the day and it will really provide longevity to your eyeshadow as well. So I'm using my P. Louise eyeshadow base. This is in the shade Rumor 2. A lot of people ask me all the time which shade should you go for because there is quite a few different shades. I prefer Rumor 2. It's supposed to be the universal shade and because I am a darker complexion, I feel like colorful eyeshadows really stand out if I have a lighter eyeshadow base. But if you guys want to, you can totally go in with the shade 3 or 4. Those will match our skin tones pretty well. But if you're not somebody who likes color, or if you're somebody that likes color rather, and you want the color to stand out a bit more, then I would highly recommend Rumor 2 as your eyeshadow base. Okay, so in today's video, I'm going to be using the Roxy Roxoros palette. I did, oh, you guys can see my reflection. I did use this palette to create that halo look. So I feel like this is a really good affordable palette. So the first shade I'm going to go in with is this orange shade right here. This is called Bang Bang. Picking this up on a Morphe M433 brush. This is like a slightly flat type of blending brush. And I'm just going to put this shade all over my crease. I'm also going to blend this on my lower lash line. And then I do also remember going in with a little bit of yellow. So I'm going to be taking the shade Lemonade. And I'm just taking a smaller blending brush. This is the Sigma E36 and I'm just going to create a light wash of color around the orange. Let me bring you guys in just a smidge closer. Okay, much much better. So just going to take this yellow and build it up, not too much. I just want it to be a light wisp. I'm also recreating this off of muscle memory. I just remember sitting down watching crime series and then doing my makeup and then I was filming a whole bunch of content and next thing I know you guys want a tutorial so yeah this may be slightly different from the one I actually did. I literally just remember a few of the shades and the palette that I used. Okay, so that is pretty much what the eyes look like. I'm gonna go in with this really small blending brush. This is the M506. Most of these brushes are from the James Charles Eye Brush Set Collection and I genuinely feel like you guys, it's the best investment you will ever make for good quality brushes. So I'm gonna go in with this brush and I'm gonna take the shade Coco, which is this one right here. This is a really dark shade of brown but I'm gonna go in with a little bit of brown at a time and just work it on the outer corner of the eye. You just wanna take your time with this and I'm really working it quite lower down on the lid. I'm not going too far up into the crease. Just take your time, a little bit of product at a time as well. I'm gonna go in with more product. Just add some to the outer corner of the eye. I'm not taking it into the crease. I'm just creating like an open halo type of vibe. So I'm gonna be adding color on the outer corner and inner corner of the eye. So now I'm gonna go on the inner corner. And I do have slightly deep set eyes. So some of you may be able to get away with applying shadow on the inner and outer corner with a normal brush. You don't have to use something this tiny, but because I have slightly deep set eyes, I need a little bit of a smaller surface area to get into this crevice. So 
So I'm just going to blend this into that orange. Again, I'm not connecting the center of the lid. You guys can see it's pretty bare. And then I'm also going to take a little bit of this brown and apply it underneath my tear duct leaving a little bit of the center bare again okay so again we're going to do that on the other eye take your time when you're working with darker shades you really need to take your time okay then i'm going to go into this shade called constellations which is this beautiful like champagne color and i'm just going to pat this on the center of my lid And then in that little negative space we have on the lower lash, I'm also going to put a little bit of eyeshadow down there. Okay, so this is pretty much what the eyeshadow looks like. You can literally just finish off this look with mascara and you'll be good to go. But because I like to use lashes, I'm going to go in with my It's Easy Catrice Liner just draw a thin line on my top lash line okay next we're gonna go in with mascara this is the Revlon Sophia's mascara for lashes I'm gonna be using the Buki lashes in the style Coco Bongo these I feel like are a very natural style of lash And they give you like the perfect amount of fullness. And I do believe I was actually wearing this lash style in my previous videos where I wore this look. So for those of you who are still struggling with lash application, just remember you need to trim your lashes beforehand. You need to make sure that your lash is not too long where it like sticks out at the outer corner. I'm going to be doing a little mini lash tutorial because I have done one previously and I don't feel like I have anything extra to add to that. And then you're going to take your glue and you're going to put it all along the band of your lash. I'm using the Kiss Glue. And then because this glue dries down pretty quickly, I'm not going to let it dry for too long. And I'm going to stick it right on my eyeball. I'm using my Hebe Beauty lash applicators as well. So you just want to make sure you stick the lash in the center of the lid. And then I go in and I secure the outer corner and the inner corner of the lash. Okay everyone, so this is the finished eye makeup halo look. I really hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I think it's pretty simple and pretty easy to achieve. We only used like four shades of eyeshadow on the lid as well, which I think is insane and yeah this roxy roxoras palette this is the color burst palette it is so amazing and so worth the investment it's really not badly priced as well and there's some really beautiful shades in here perfect for summer that is it for this video i really hope you guys have enjoyed comment down below let me know are you guys going to be recreating this did you enjoy this tutorial i love you guys so much don't forget to slay all day every day with our makeup and i'll talk to you guys in the next video Bye bye